Welcome to this composite tutorial guiding you through analysing a panel with a cutout using FE space. The half longitudinal panel on our 30 foot yacht takes the backstay loads, but we want to reduce the weight and cost and increase access by creating two penetrations. We will design our basic panel for a weight and strength comparison. Let's assume it's fully fixed at the bulkhead and structural continuity is continuous into the next panel. We have specified some tapes on the deck and hull, 200mm wide. We will assume this is the width of the hull and cockpit that supports the panel. We have defined the panel as a polygon on a sketch, as a base reference model. The baseline model has a minimum RF of 1.4 and a weight of 1.48 kg. The weight can be viewed by going to the FE model properties taken from the mesh. Each element's results can be viewed separately, ply by ply, or as a global model. Let's duplicate the model and edit the panel sketch, adding some cutouts. We will add edge closing by extruding the holes and applying UD plies. This could also be specified by adding a beam section to the circle's edge. We will add local patches around the holes by applying a rule to additional biaxial plies. Let's remesh and calculate the model, checking the strength and weight. You can see that the weight has decreased by about 100 grams and there is opportunities to decrease it further with a minimum reserve factor of 1.5. Decreasing the ply extent by 50 millimeters saves a bit more weight and cost. You can go into BombGen to get an idea of the cost difference. Let's remesh and calculate the model, checking the strength and weight. 